For this video, we are going to discuss on descriptive statistics. Based from the previous video, descriptive statistics is a branch of statistics that involves the collection, organization, summarization, and presentation of data. These data are taken from a sample. Frequency distribution. Frequency is how often something occurs. Say for example the scores of the kids in the quiz. These kids got 10, 10, 8, 8, 9, 10, 8, 7, 7, and 8 as their scores. Now how many got 10? So based from our example, we have 3. 3 of the students got 10 as the score. 1 got 9 as the score. And there were 4 students who got 8. And 2 students got 7. So this is an example of a frequency distribution table wherein we can see the score and the frequency, meaning how often the score 10 appeared, how often nine, the score 9 appeared, and how often the 8 score appeared, how often the 7 score appeared. So in our example, we have seen that the score 10 appeared 3 times because we have 3 students who got 10 as their score. 9 appeared once because there is only 1 student who got 9 as the score. And 8 appeared 4 times because there were 4 students who got 8 as the scores. And 7 appeared twice because there were only 2 students who got 7 as the score. Measure of central tendency. It is a single value that attempts to describe where is the center of the distribution tends to be. A single value that best represent the data. For example, we have this data set. We have 20, 17, 18, 17, 18, 15, 17, and 18. Now with this given set, Alin kaya sa mga given scores na ito will best represent the entire data set? Will it be 20, 18, 15, 17? Or there will be another number that will represent the entire data set? Mean. So, one central tendency is the mean. Mean is the average where you add up all the numbers and then divide by the number of numbers in the list. So here is an example. So let's say we have your grades in math, science, English, Filipino, and MAPE. So you want to know your average grade. Okay? You want to know the mean of your grade. So, we, can, we will just simply add 87 plus 85 plus 90 plus 88 plus 90. Okay, we just simply add it. So, the sum is 440. And then, we will divide it. So, this is the, this is the formula. So, we will add all the numbers. And then, divide it by how many numbers did we add? Or how many are there in the list? So, for example, in this one, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 subjects. That is why we divided 440 divided by 5. And that gives us 88. So, 88 is our average grade or the mean. So, there are 5 five subjects. 
Next, we have median, another central tendency. So, median is the value that is exactly in the middle of a data set. Okay, so how are we going to find the median? We have to arrange, we have to arrange our data in increasing order, okay? From smallest to biggest value. So, let's say, for example, we have this given data. Okay, let's say, for example, this is, um, let me just, uh, let's say that is 24. So, as you can see, the data is arranged in increasing order from 24 to 92. Now, and then we will just simply count, you know, the, um, how many um, data we have here. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. So, we have 11 um, numbers here. So, ang nasa middle is ito, yung sa 6, right? Yan yung nasa middle kasi here we have 5 and then also here we have 5. That is why this is the middle, 56. The median is 56. Next, what if, okay, now if the number of data, okay, yung number of data is um, okay, if the number of data is even, oh no, I mean odd number, so at kanina kasi we have 11, right? 11, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11 data tayo meron. So kapag 11, um, we can just simply get immediately yung nasa middle, right? So, kung ano yung nasa middle number, uh, data rather, yun na yung median natin. Just like this one. 56 is in the middle. Okay? So, uh, that's our median. But, if we have an even number of data, just like this one. Okay? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We have 12 data. Okay? 12 data. So, ang gagawin natin is so, ang gagawin natin is kukunin natin yung dalawang nasa middle. So, we will count first. So, we have 12, di ba? We have 12. So, we will um, divide it into two groups. So, we have so 12 divided by 2. So, we have 6. So, i-divide natin sila by 6. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is the first group, ito naman, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, this is the other group. And then, after that, we will get the two numbers, okay, na magkalapit sa isa't isa from uh, the two different groups, which is itong dalawa. Okay, ito, 7 and 8. Okay, itong dalawa, 7, 8. Okay? And then, these two, we will add them. We will add and then divided by 2. So, 7 plus 8 is 15 divided by 2 will give us 7.5. Therefore, with this given set, our median is 7.5. Here is another example. So, let's say... We survey 500 families. Okay, gumawa tayo ng survey sa 500 families. Then, tinanong natin yung annual family income nila. When we say annual family income, yung income ng isang family for the entire year. So, meaning 12 months. Okay? Then, nung tinali natin, Okay, so let's say my, my mga families na nagsabi na 200,000, 300,000, 500,000, 70,000, 50,000 yung mga annual family income nila. Okay, and then itatali natin yun. Okay, from lowest to highest. Then after that, we will get the 
median. Okay. So, let's say ang nakuha natin median is 185,000 pesos. So, ang ibig sabihin niyan, again, ang median natin is 185,000 pesos. Now, what does this mean? Paano natin i-interpret ito? Ang ibig sabihin niyan ay, di ba we surveyed 500 families, okay, 500 families, and ang median is 185,000 pesos, okay? Ito ang median annual income ng 500 families. Ang ibig sabihin nito is that 250 families, ibig sabihin one half, one half, one half of the 500 families ay may family, annual family income lower than 185,000 pesos. Mas mababa sa 185,000 pesos. Pero, the other half, the other 250 families ay may annual family income that is more than 185,000 pesos. Okay? So, ganito yung pag-interpret ng median. One half will be lower than the median while the other half is greater than um, yung family in income nila is greater than sa median annual family income. This time, moat is simply the most popular or most frequent response value. A data set can have no mode, one mode, um, or more than one mode. So let's say, for example, we have this one, age of students. So let's say we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 students here. So, we have 12 students and here are their age. So, we have 5. We have 2 students with 5 as their age. 1 student with 6 as the age. Tatlong bata ang may 7 na age. Dalawang bata ang may 8 na age. At tatlong bata naman ang may 9 as the age. And 1 student with 10 as the age. So, Based on this given data, we can see or we have observed that the age 7 and age 9 um, is, um, has the most uh, frequent response. Okay? I mean, the number 7 and 9 has the most frequent response. It means that um, maraming bata ang may 7 or pareho, ha, pareho Parehong number of students, there, there is an equal number of students that has the age of 7 and 9. Okay, there are, um, based on the given data, there were 3 students, 3 students that has 7 as the age, and another 3 students that has um, 9 as the age. That is why the mode is 7 and and 9. Here's another example. So, let's say um, this is the data on, on the number of books that uh, was borrowed by the 12 college students. Okay? So, one student, one student borrowed two books, another student borrowed two books. Then, we have one student borrowed one book, one student borrowed one book, one student borrowed two books, one student borrowed, borrowed three books, one student borrowed two books, one student borrowed four books, another student borrowed four books, uh, one student borrowed two books, one student borrowed two books, and another student borrowed two books. Okay. Now, if we are going to uh, make a table, okay, so, let's say this is the number of books, number of books, okay, so we have, based from the data, we have 1, 2, 3, 
and 4. Right? We have 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now, in here, it's the number of students. Number of students. Okay. How many students that borrowed one book? We have two. We have two. Okay. How many students borrowed two books? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven students borrowed two books. And then we have one student borrowed three books. And two students borrowed four books. Now based sa ating frequency here, it is observed that our mode is 2. Kasi yung na 2 has the most number of students na nagborrow ng books. Okay? There were 7 students who borrowed 2 books. Ito yung pinakamaraming frequency, ang 7. So, I mean, ang um, 2. Rather, ang 2 ang may pinakamaraming frequent, uh, frequency, which is 7. 7 ang frequency ng 2. That is why the mode is 2. Okay, weighted mean. So, weighted mean is often used when some data values are more important than the others. So, this is the most common example because this is familiar to you. Kasi nga, ba at the start of um, of the SEM, the teachers are giving you the grading system. Okay, so for example, for assignment, we have 20%, quiz 20%, major exams 40%, projects or output is 30%. So based on these percentages, we see that the major exams are more important than the rest, no? Than the rest of the um, criteria here. So, project is the second, and then, of course, followed by assignment and quiz. So, let's say, for example, here are your grades, no? So, let's say 85, you got 85 for assignment, you got 80 for the quiz, major exams, you got 90, and projects or output, you got 90 as well. Okay, so, how are you going to compute for your final grade? So, ganito yan. So, yung 20%, we will convert it into decimal um, number. So, we have 0.20 times 85. So, we have 17. So, ibig sabihin yan, with your grade 85, you only got 17%. 17%. Okay? Then, the next one is 0.20 times 80. And that is 16. So, out of 20%, you only got 16% because of your grade. Then, um, so 40, so convert that into decimal number. So, 0.4 times 90 is 36. So, again, you only got 36%. Then, the last one, 0.30 times 90. That is 27%. Then after that, we will add, we will add 17 plus 16 plus 36 plus 27 and that gives us 96%. So your, so the total, your total grade now is 96. Again, 96 is your total grade just based on these percentages.